she sort of going to tell you about the meditation end of this. Good morning. I'm so excited. Um, I have with me Sukho Yuyak. She's from One Um Nam Hai Monastery in Callaway. So she's going to kind of go over about the walking meditation, which you should expect. <laughs> yes, <laughs> that's nice. So you can walk closer to make a really small group icon. First of all, Namaste. I want to thank you, Ms. Hall, to invite um, uh, myself and um, our, our member here. Can you speak chair. up, please? Okay. <laughs> I say, first of all, I think one thank you, Ms. Hall, to invite myself here to uh, to share some of the meditation, walking meditation with you all. Mm -hmm. um, walking meditation is all about uh, meditating while we walk. So I was told that you do. You want to do a silent walking today, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. And um, at our monastery, uh, we had um, we do everything we do in our daily life. We put meditation into the practice. So today we do the walking. Um, what that means is that when we walk, uh, we are mindful to each step we make, aware of our breathing. The more important is that we allow our body, our whole body, our mind to relax and to release every tension that we hold on into our mind or our body. So every step, like we breathe in, we go up two steps, we breathe out, we walk another two steps. Let's say you want to be really fast, then you breathe in three steps, and breathe out and walk three steps. You have a long in breath and out, long out breath. But let's say we walk a normal pace, so just breathe in, two step, breathe out, two step. And so the idea of meditation is to aware of what is going on in our body, our mind, the feeling, the sensation while we walk, or instead we do the walking. At the same time, we have to in touch with the nature around us, blue sky, green uh, tree, flower um, blooming, um, sand or soft pebbles so we feel that but not to attach to that with us that making us lose our breathing lose, losing our mind while we walk so we walk in a such a way that we feel peace calm happy grateful to ourselves to the earth we walk in a way that we are not have no destination to go nowhere to go nowhere to come but we go every step we make and make sure every step we make make sure it's imprint to the ground fully. So we breathe in full breath, inhale in fresh air from outside, allow it to generate all over our body so that our body cells um, absorb that fresh air. And if we breathe out, make sure we release all the tension, all the difficulties that we hold in our body. We let it go out, full breath in, full breath out. And make sure when we step, each, make each step to the ground, make sure it's a full not half or not uh, three half, three four. Let's make it sure that our footprint is actually imprinted to the ground. And you have to realize that your body is enjoying every step of that. So let's say while we walk in and, you, and our mind is arise something, whether it's positive or negative, smile to it, but still paying attention to our footstep. You walk that way. And then if you walk that way, you will feel the difference in walking. You can walk uh, and not feel any, not being mindful to your step, but that only can only promote your health only and prevent your illness. But when you walk fully, mindfully like that, you not only promote your health, you not only prevent your um, um, illness, but you also release the tension, the difficulties that you that you hold in your life. So after that walk, you feel you, uh, your problems. It's resolve, it's reconcil reconciliation. So um, if, you be, if you be mindful to your walk, you are doing two things for yourself, promoting your health and resolve your, uh, the problem that you have, a difficulty that you put into, onto it. So I want you to walk that way and feel the, the joy, the weather, the peace inside of you, and the beautiful weather that is around you. So enjoy the nature while you walk, enjoy every step you make. But the more important again, you breathe in, 
one, two, three down, and you don't have to say it with me. Just aware of that. And sometimes when you, you can hold someone's hand, or sometimes you can invite someone to join with, your, um, with, you, know, with you, whether it's a visible or it's none. So it, it could be a person who's uh, next to you here, who is here now, with you right here. Or it would be someone that you know that that you want to be with, but he is not here or she's not here. You can, you know, silently invite that person to be beside with you. And walk. So that's um, meditation. So the word meditation is all about knowing what is going on inside of you, with the feeling, but it, at the same time in touch with what around you, the, the sound, um, the scene, but at the same time you are not attached to any of that. You see, you're aware of it, you recognize, you're back to your own breathing, back to your peace, back to the step you make. I had, um, I had a song that I already typed out and I want to bring out here to share with you, but I didn't, I didn't bring with me, but it was a short song. I think you can learn it. You want to try that song? It's called Walking Meditation Song. It's the word and lyrics by uh, Tiffany Hahn. Have you ever known anyone here? Peace in every step. Have you heard that song, Walking Meditation? I haven't heard the song, but I... Yeah. yeah. <coughs> here's the first, uh, there's only four lines to it. Um, the first line is called... Mm. The mind, the mind can go in thousand directions. Yeah. But on this lovely path, I walk in peace. With each step, a, a gentle wind blows. With each step, a flower bloom. Easy, huh? Yeah? Mm -hmm. So our mind can go in many directions. We could be, if we are not mindful to our walk, they could take us to somewhere very far, France, Hawaii, <laughs> Europe, <laughs> anywhere that we will, all we wish to have a, you know, money to buy a plane ticket to go there. And so we would think about that. But hopefully this lovely path, the footstep we make on this love path will to make you feel peaceful. And he liked to describe when you walk, if you get a chance to wind blow by, you know, whisper by your ear, and then there, when you walk, make sure there's a flower actually blooming under your footstep. So um, the line go again, the mind can go a thousand directions, but on this lovely path, I walk in peace. With each step, a gentle wind blows. With each step, a flower blooms. So that's, so let me sing first and then I invite you to sing. Okay, well, can you read um, first? Can we read the, all four lines first? When I sing, I have to invite you to sing with me instead of my, I'm only the person who sing it by myself. <laughs> so, the mind can go in a thousand directions. But on this lovely path, I walk in peace. With each step, a gentle wind blows. With each step, a flower blooms. Can we say it again? Yeah. Please. The mind can go, go in a thousand directions, but the path I walk in peace. Each step a gentle wind blows, each step a flower blooms. The mind can go in a thousand directions. But on this lovely path, I walk in peace. With each step, a gentle wind blows. With each step, a flower blooms. Please, again, two, three. The mind can go in a thousand directions. On this lovely path, I walk in peace. With each step, a gentle wind blows. With each step, a flower grows. Sing again one more time. Two, three. The mind can go in a thousand directions. 
would I walk in peace with each step a gentle wind blows with each step Maybe if I have time later, um, I would like to share uh, more of the meditation practice with you okay. and uh, mindful lunch. Uh, and uh, we do some uh, Dharma discussion. Uh, we have the, some of the questions you have for the talk. And maybe we need to uh, try to sing the song again. Just make sure you remember mm -hmm. where mm -hmm. to from the <laughs> ground. <laughs> Thank you very much. Come on. Okay, if everybody could just sort of gather in that corner, we want to get um, just one group picture. We like to put on our newsletter. <laughs> everybody sign and everybody put bug spray on before it's about to head off. Yeah. So, could you tell me what your name is and where you're from? Um, my name is real long, so they call, uh, American people call me Sister Tran. Sister Tran. Tran. Yes, it's easy. If I use it now, it's too yeah. It's too long for you, right? Who? Suko Nyu Yak. Suko Nyu Yak. Oh, I see. Wow. She's here. Okay. Suko Nyu Yak. That's very nice. Can you get a picture? Oh, yes. The wide angle. Come on, girl. Mm-hmm.